City in their pale blue shirts and white shorts attacking the goal to our right. Usual tremendous atmosphere of a derby match. And the crowd waiting to see whether this would indeed be the match of the night. Manchester United wearing the dark shorts. Well, they've had news this afternoon that there's a in addition to their players' pool, with Gordon Hill having been signed from Millwall. And according to Tommy Doherty, Gordon Hill will play on Saturday. So you could say that apart from playing for success in the Cup, somebody out there is playing for his place as well in the United side. First free kick to be taken by Oakes. Joe Royal is up. So is Dave Watson. Bell! Blocked everywhere and put in by Stewart! before, beaten before he's touched the ball. Watson with the initial header. Royal was in the way. Bell shot blocked. Then Watson again came down to Stewart and it's 1-0 City. Peter, so many uh, City players had a, a, a kick at that ball at that point before Dennis Stewart was in the net. There was Dickie. I, mean, I think Colin Bell had a volley blocked and um, Joe goal. Royal had a, a swipe at it. And um, a bit of luck, I think, to that goal. But... Uh, Certainly got us off to a great start. A vital goal. 35 seconds, I gather, into the start of the game, Bobby. Yes. Well, that's important. But but City had plenty of players in there. You can, mm -hmm. It's not, not surprising. It was very cluttered, wasn't it? It was. And Bell again, forced to concede the corner. Well, again, to curl it out a little bit. A little bit too much. Bakken. And Koppel, if he can get there, is onside. But Carey is in the middle. But the speed to get there costs him the control when you reach there. Doyle captaining Manchester City for the first time in a derby match though this is his 20th appearance Pearson Doyle again Royal nice header Stewart space on the right for Colin Bell he fell over the ball Bell has remained down. Jackson. Doyle doing all the covering at the back at the moment. McElroy. Pearson, nice touch. Alan Oakes in very positively. Stuart Pearson down again and we've got two bodies. That's the United body, Stuart Pearson. The second time in the opening minutes. And Colin Bell of Manchester City. Colin Bell in deep trouble, I think, at that point, Peter. They seem to be more concerned about the United player, but Colin Bell uh, had um, already suffered quite a severe injury at that point. It was. It was a very unfortunate tackle, Dickie, and um, I think it was one to keep to go and continue to keep calling out the team for two or three years with a bad, very bad knee injury. And I don't think I think it was a big loss for Manchester City at the time, um, losing a player of his stature. And um, I don't think he was ever the same when he came back uh, two or three years later. I was saying it was a sad loss to the team because uh, at such a, a great age, I think he was 28, 29 years of age, with so much experience still left yeah. in him. I to help him for England as well at that yeah. point, Bobby. Colin Bell was a great player. I, I played with him in England, uh, for England, quite, quite often, and he was a tremendous player, great worker, but a very, very skillful player. And I was really sorry about this because I think this really was the end of his career. Mm. You know, nobody thought it at the time, but he suffered really severe injury and, uh, and never really played again. 
not to the standard that he would have liked. No, anyway. no. And when you suffer that kind of injury that could end a uh, you know, career, then you know there are financial problems sometimes, aren't there? Really? Yeah. Well, he was a bright lad. Fortunately, Colin Bell, and, and he had taken out, I think, personal insurance a long time before that, thinking that one day maybe this might happen, and he, he obviously was well advised. And then, fortunately, he had no problems financially afterwards, but mm. that's not, nothing to the loss that he had and not being able to play. And what are there from all the young players today, I suppose, Bobby, when you think of it? Well, cl clubs do insure their players, and... Um, and, but of course, if someone has to pack the game in, then it's at the discretion of the clubs whether mm. ha, how much they give the player as, as his share Meantime, of the, the compensation. But he was bright enough to do it himself. No substitution has been made by Manchester City as yet. Royal. The little man against the big man, the little one winning. Lou McCarry. Daly. Nickel. Greenoff. Bucken. Here's Jackson. Not a bad attempt. Oh, how confidently and almost arrogantly taken by Joe Corrigan. It's the sort of form he's been in this season. <laughs> but not with his kicking. Houston. Jackson. Houston. couldn't get it in another terrible mix up Pearson blocked by Oakes well it all happened in out in out in out and finally out Koppel was the nearest to getting it in there he is right on the line came out to Pearson blocked by Oakes though he didn't know too much about it and away for the corner by Doyle McElroy with the flick, another corner. With Makari, Koffel at the far post. Clements with Makari, again taken a bit shorter. Jackson. Stewart. Didn't take the moment to look up. Booze of a backer who was involved in that challenge with Bell. Free kick has been given. Tommy Booth waiting to come on. So sadly for Manchester City, indeed for the game, we've seen the last of Colin Bell tonight. challenge that caused the injury was not seen as a foul by the referee Nickel with the free kick just a slight moisture on the top surface Pearson getting in at the back Houston two teams drew Two each in the league match in September. Greenoff, Bakken. That could be seen by Oaks and has been. But unable to do anything about it, having seen it. Koffel finding the keeper. by McElroy and by David Watson <laughs> who 
Stern and the foot up was why that was given. Tommy Booth playing in place of Colin Bell in midfield. Hasn't gone into defence. Take on by Lou Macari. Mike Doyle. Barnes. Picked it up well in for the shooting chance. He just nudged off that by Houston. But good pace by Barnes. Let's look and see whether the elbow was up a little bit for Stuart Houston, number three. My suspicion is that it was, and indeed it was. Enough to put him off. Just lean, lean down your bed. Just he leaned down your bed, did he actually, yeah. <laughs> Peter? I'm just saying to Bobby, just, just lent on me a bit and knock me off balance. Yeah. <laughs> I've just winding my leg back to shoot there. Yeah. I know. Well, he had a lethal left foot, you see, and uh, I think it, coming in certainly from the right-hand side of the field, they didn't want to let him have a, a clear shot at goal. So uh, I can understand why they were worried. Yes. yes. The runner, Doyle the cover. Threatening an equaliser ever since City scored. Money down by Pearson. Daly locked away for a corner. Came off Doyle, I think. Again, a narrow escape for Manchester City. Daly with the header came off Doyle's chest, almost his throat. This is the third time the two sides have been drawn against each other in the Football League Cup competition. Drawn in the semi-finals of 69-70 when City won and in 74-75 the third round when United won. And the score in this match 75-76, 1-0 to Manchester City. Oaks. Found its way through. Joe Royal. Must be! Asa Hartford. A fine ball through, started that. Royal in the air. And look at the space. Buddy Roach did all he could to get there. But nobody picked up Hartford as he came in. And again, as we saw on Saturday, Manchester United in trouble in the air at the back. And Buddy Roach beaten twice. Peter, and really Peter a well-worked goal that. Yeah, it was a wonderful cross from Willie Donnelly, I think it was, um, deep into the penalty area. I think Joe Royal being so big at the time lent. And I think so the centre half, I think it was Gordon McQueen. And um, it fell nicely for Fraser Hartford. Yeah. And then it was lethal from, from six And yeah, Bobby, you'd have two great chances to, to uh, put the ball on the net. Oh, I mean, unbelievable, really, how, how easy they seem to be. To the chances coming at a period when City really should have capitalised on the early goal. But it just showed you the United's frailty at the back in, in as much as they didn't have any big central defenders in those days. Martin Buchan wasn't a very tall man. Um, Brian Greenough also, not the, the, the biggest. And both goals have come from high crosses. She's got about an inch advantage over Greenough. Hartford. Captain's example in this match so far, Doyle looking very composed. Stewart, a lot of wandering. Booth on the right. Jackson coming across. Hartford, City really playing some stuff now.
Will Zinger from Asa Hartford. And the news from the team benches is not good about Colin Bell. He's got a very badly torn thigh muscle and is certain to miss the England game and could well be out for a month. Pearson. Ball ending up between Koppel and Nickel. Donachy. Hartford. On a bit too long, but certainly City prepared to go for the 25-30 yard ball out for the wings. Pearson. A tackle by Watson. Possible England centre forward against possible England centre half for next Wednesday. And it's a corner. So a bit of change there for Stuart Pearson. It's United's fourth corner. And they've called some alarms in the six yard box, which maybe was in the mind of Doyle then. Doyle who won it. Greenough and Nickel getting in each other's way. As a result of which, Greenoff fouled Barnes. Jackson. Curry. United having to work hard to lose their markers. Dog just got a touch then, and it was a vital one. Nicely played out by Oakes to Stewart, who has Barnes left and Royal right. Stewart going near post. Just a bit long. But a much quicker, simpler build-up by Manchester City that... Oak starting it at the back, then Stewart on the end of it. You wouldn't disagree with Barry Davis there Manchester at all, would you, Bobby? <laughs> no, I think his positioning was wrong there. But but Martin Buchan as well, you know. Oh, yeah. For the experienced player that he was, to lose possession in the middle of the field like that unnecessarily really caused the problem. Um, he's he's a more right-footed player than a left-footed player, but just shows, you know, if you can use both feet, it's a great advantage. And he was caught on his left side and lost possession and paid the ultimate price. I must say, Dennis Chill wouldn't have thought he was actually going to have a goal on the end of that round, would you? <laughs> no, that was Dennis's strength, that he was good at running at people, taking players on. He must have run 30, 40 yards there with the ball and um, finished off having a good shot and possibly Roach, looking back, may, may have done better because it went sort of under his hands a little bit. Mm. To be beat at the near post is the goalkeeper's nightmare, I think, isn't it? 3 nothing. Basic six goals in the League Cup for Dennis Stewart and what power of shooting. Kept his balance well. The corner conceded by Doyle. And 
Doyle again rollicking somebody behind him. Clements, presumably for not shouting because Corrigan could have picked that up. Jackson four, Houston three, Makari ten. Pearson off the line by Hartford. Really had no luck in the six yard box, United. Pearson a very good header, Hartford doing the right back job. Flecked on it. Oh! Brilliant turn over the top, although he was worried. I must say, I thought for a moment it might come down inside. Flicked on the stretch of the big man turning it over. United, it's their seventh corner. Seven corners to nil in their favour, and yet they're three goals down. Jackson. Jackson. Going by Oates. Stewart. Gerard. Tommy Jackson chasing back. Still he gets the crossover away by Greenoff. And it's Stewart having one of those nights. Another fine ball. City certainly making the ball do the work. There's a great contrast in the stars of the two sides. Here's Doyle. Blocked by Lubakari. Just look at this. Hartford. has gone for offside against Barnes. Taylor. Bobby, this is hard to bear, isn't it? I mean, City are playing some fine football. <laughs> I was just thinking the same myself, Dickie. Yeah, yeah. If you're a United fan or a United player, 3-0 down in the first half with not much chance of actually taking the points. It's a, it's a, it's a nightmare. You hope it will never happen, I think. But yeah, League Cup, actually. Well, yeah. But against City, this must be... I would imagine there's some United fans probably left already. You know, and we're still playing in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> on their way home. Yeah. Cheers. Streaming down their faces. Well, that's football, eh? It is. Clements. Royal. Jewett. Royal down the line. Seems to be finding so much room. Free kick. Nickel. Oaks. Koppel. Pearson. Daly. It's the link between midfield and up front. Which is not working that smoothly. No chance then. Lost his legs thanks to Kenny Clements. A few quick words from Jack Taylor. Oh, what a good try by Houston. And 
Corrigan might wonder why there was nobody on that post. Look, it's completely empty. I think it might have hit the post anyway, but obviously Corrigan had to go for it. There was no cover on that post. Goalkeeper's job to organise it, I would have thought. Away by Doyle. Ten minutes of the half remaining. Manchester City leading three to nothing. Tommy Booth being waved back. There were people at Anfield on Saturday who felt that the Stretford Enders outsung the cop. Not too much noise coming from the Stratford Enders tonight here. United throw given. United in desperate need of a goal before half time. McElroy. Sammy McElroy, in fact, made his debut in the Derby match in a 3 3 draw. Oaks away. Greenough. Everything seems to go to Doyle. Hartford. So with minutes to come to uh, half-time, Peter, a very satisfactory Doyle. performance by City. It was, um, especially playing at home and... Um, Certainly, lads were, were very confident at half time going into the match, uh, you know, second half, winning 3 0 at, at half time. But um, there was a lot, a lot of concern the players' faces for Colin Bell. We were worried more about mm. how he was with that injury. Yeah. At the time. Is it your first derby game, this one? Yes. Um, I think it was my first one, maybe my second one. But, mm. Um, mm. First one we'd won for me. First one I played in which we won for me. Well, maybe the injury to Colin Bell inspired, not, not the injury itself, but the fact that, uh, you know, that he was off, they felt they had to really... Sure, I, mean, I, would, I would think that helped the players as well, but um, mm. I think against anybody, if you're 3-0 at half-time, you must feel pretty confident. Booth. Green off. Oaks. Hartford. On for the left. Oh, lovely dummy. Good tackle by Bucken. Lovely run by Hartford. Fainted a shoot with his left and then just carried forward. And that's the last action of the first half. Stuart Houston going off limping and indeed Manchester United going off limping. Stuart, two of the goals on his second hat-trick in the competition. Well, it's almost exactly three years since City last scored three against Manchester United. Really the first 45 minutes, a fine exhibition of direct, simple football. City players running at opponents, forcing them into errors, forcing them to commit themselves. Brian Green off for Manchester United. Well, it has to be said, they're not playing as well as they played at Anfield on Saturday. Steve Koffel. Let me get to Jimmy Nicholl. He's got very fond memories of Manchester City. Lucky enough to put through his own goal in the league game here, Nicholl. There's Pearson. It's a nice turn. Koffel. Did it very cleanly. Finds Barnes. Stewart hanging back. And curl for Royal. The nod down. Well turned over indeed by Roach. But again the ball given away at the back.
Barnes who did the spade work. And Greenoff's header going straight to the feet of Asa Hartford. Manchester City's first corner of the match. Doyle away by Houston. Pearson. Joe Royal is onside. Watson. Hartford finding Alan Oakes. City back in their rhythm. Barnes. It's a goal kick. Two early bits of skill in this half from Peter Barnes. And the comparison with Rodney Marsh is about skill. And David McQuarrie is coming on in place of Tommy Jackson. United seem to have left their ball behind. Doyle, Booth, Oaks, beautifully done by Barnes, he's got Royal on the touchline if you've seen him, may not need him, Jewett far post, Houston covering and Greenock, very happy to put it out of harm's way, a lovely run by Peter Barnes. Peter, you're having a real purple patch in the second half, aren't you? Right from the kickoff, virtually. Yeah, I think the team was playing with confidence at the time, and um, makes it a lot easier when you're winning 3-0 at half time, and you come out for the second half. And it was exciting times at that, that particular stage in the 70s, and um, both sides playing with with wingers, and um, it was a, an exciting era to play in football. Causing havoc, though, wasn't he, Bobby? Yes, yes. Well, he had speed, you see, and he had really good close close. Close control did Peter, and of course, once he got near the edge of the box, he also had the quality of, of actually scoring goals. So it was a danger, you know, and a big worry to United. And in the situation, three 0 down, or worse, you know, I mean, we couldn't thought of a worse scenario really. McElroy. and even when a United player gets through with a run like that. They find Corrigan in the sort of form that he's been showing all season. Sammy McElroy. Sort of shot I know a goalkeeper was expected to save. Doyle there before Houston. Got to be spread wide and is Bucken. Pearson, if it'll come down. Unlucky. And he's hurt his right leg, I think. Or was it a clash of heads? Oh, well, we can have a look and see. Back and it, it was who knocked it back. Difficult bouncing ball for Pearson. No, it was leg. Royal, another very subtle header. Stewart spreading it out to Barnes, but too hard. Fifteen minutes left, still 3-0 the score. Free kick against Donachy. On the hobbling Pearson. Attempt by Koffel. Barnes beautifully played off. And up comes Stewart. First time pass. 2 1 touches there. Stewart! Good save by Roach. Again, plenty of power in the shot. Stewart running in. 
after Barnes and Hartford had done the setup. Dor coming late for the corner. Curry, Daly, the nothing ball that McCurry was given. Given away by Nickel. And four against four here. Donachy with the ball, now Buns. Royal. Well, Joe Royal enjoyed that goal, didn't he, Bobby? Yeah, Joe, yeah. He, 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 he wished he was as slim now, Joe. <laughs> but, but that particular goal, I remember watching it and, and, and thinking three players, when, when the ball went out to the left-hand side of the field, three United players went. You know, they, they didn't think, they didn't look around, they weren't aware of other dangers and left Joe on his own. It was typical of the performance that day. Yeah. You know, the, just the concentration wasn't there. But Bounty was, was actually cross the ball yeah. anyway. Yes, of course. Yeah. But it, it was because City were playing so well, really. Yeah. No, no excuses, City were the better team today. Good tackle by Greenough. Watson. Well, Joe Corrigan's got the ball. He certainly fills that net, doesn't he, Peter? I mean, he's had a great game. It was. It was just a t turning point in Joe's career, really, Dickie, because before then, uh, he'd had a, a, a terrible time. Uh, they dropped him to reserves about three or four years earlier, and um, he had a big weight problem, Joe, as he'd be the first to admit. And um, he was on the verge of leaving City at one time. People forget he, he got sent to the reserve team to play. Every time he came out for a ball he'd, 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 and caught it, the, 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 the crowd would laugh at him and call him. But give, give Joe his due, he fought hard and he got back in the, in the first team, won the crowd over, um, and then eventually went on to play for England. And he's doing a very useful job now, Bobby, isn't he? Yes, uh, Joe, Joe is a goalkeeping coach at Liverpool. Uh, when we played Liverpool not so long ago, I remember seeing Joe walk out and I was very pleased. He obviously knows the game, he certainly knows the goalkeeping business. And I'm really pleased to see him doing so well now. Pity he did so well this time. Sorting it up. Oaks. Barnes. Not 
perhaps on that occasion wrong to go it alone. But forgive such mistakes to youth. Watson's left knee. <laughs> Referee playing the advantage. Well found, Makari by McElroy. without any question and one that the team and their supporters will love.